Alberta Williams was 24 years old when she was murdered. Her body found near the Taiyi overpass on September 25, 1989. Her killer has not been found. Ramona Wilson was just 16, excited to spend the weekend with friends in nearby Morristown. But she was taken before she could get there safely. It would be almost a year before her body was found near Yellick Road in April 1995. How do these murders linked to the Highway of Tears continue to go unsolved? How can these acts of violence in this location be explained? Craig Benjamin and Amnesty International Canada are working closely with First Nation communities affected by these crimes. We've spent a, a lot of time in Northern British Columbia. We have been uh, working to draw attention both to individual stories, but also to the, to the larger patterns of violence. When a woman goes missing, uh, when there's suspicion uh, that, that she may have been victim of foul play, that there, there's a full, uh, thorough police investigation, that the families are kept informed, that the families see justice. There is evidence to suggest that cases of missing and murdered along Highway 16 are part of a much larger pattern of violence against Indigenous women and girls in Canada. There is a systemic problem here. Uh, the, the very fact that we are looking at rates of violence uh, seven, eight times higher than that experienced by all other women and girls in, in Canada, that this violence does not come just from a single source, but is pervasive. This is violence that occurs in the home, but it also occurs in the streets. The very fact that this violence could go on year after year tells us that there's something fundamentally wrong here. Chief Terry Teege is all too familiar with the many challenges of living in a remote Northern Territory. The people of the carrier Sakani region are isolated and Highway 16, the Highway of Tears, is frequently the road most traveled. Well, logistically for, for anybody who's in our territory or, or in one of our communities, it's, it's very difficult uh, for economic development and for uh, having a, a steady job or uh, getting adequate education. So, so a lot of our people uh, don't have a reliable uh, transit system, don't have uh, a vehicle. So what do you do? You, you hitchhike and it's the, it's the easiest and cheapest way to travel. What's frustrating is that uh, how our women are treated as individuals and how they're seen and what we need is a fundamental change in the society of how not only Aboriginal women are seen, but how First Nations in this country are seen. For Alberta Williams' family, the passing of time has not erased the memory of her disappearance. Her sister Claudia is still angry at how suddenly and tragically the events of that night unfolded. Alberta was categorized as missing and murdered women. She was not a missing and murdered woman. She was my sister. She was our sister. She didn't go out on that highway. She didn't hitchhike. And it's not even her character. I pray for some of the families out there that are still searching. They're searching. I can't imagine what that's like. Every year since 1995, Ramona Wilson's family organizes a commemorative walk in Smithers, BC. They celebrate Ramona's life and remind the world whoever did this is still out there. What we've done all through the years was, was to let people know that, that we're gonna be uh, standing there every June to let people know not to forget the loved ones that, that have been murdered or not found. We try to involve everybody so that, you know, there's a collaboration of people, you know, bringing them together so that they don't forget about, you know, Ramona's case and that there's still no answers and that there's more and more women going missing. And it, I think it's a really good way to bring that awareness. When I was going through this for 10 months, um, I'm just imagining what these parents are going through. They, they haven't found their loved ones. It is so hard, it's so difficult. I pray for them every day, even though I, uh, my, my daughter's murder hasn't been solved. But the, that's the hardest, the most difficult to go through is, is 
when you haven't found them yet. But we're strong. Uh, we, we shall always walk. We shall always walk. We will be walking for them every year. Yes. For Chief Terry T.G., the Highway of Tears is both symbolic and personal. Matilda Wilson is T.G.'s aunt, and Ramona was his cousin. He has never come to grips with her murder. You know, finding Ramona's remains really impacted uh, the, the family. Um, when I see my aunt, she's, she's changed. It, this, these crimes change people. And uh, I couldn't imagine how she felt, you know. I have an 11-year-old daughter now, and I, and I couldn't imagine losing my daughter in such a horrific way. And, uh, and I think that's what drives me. That's what drives a lot of the families up in the Highway of Tears or Picton Farm or Loretta Saunders or, or Tina F Fontaine is that that's, that's what drives you to say that, you know, we don't want this to happen to another family. And... For more information about Alberta Williams and Ramona Wilson, visit our website, 